Hi everyone, it's Marco here. And I'm here to talk about using the Macbeth chart to make your colors look amazing. So, first of all, these modern DSLRs are actually really good. But, if you want even better colors than the camera itself is able to produce, then the best way to do it is to give, uh, give your computer a reference. And one of the best reference charts out there is, of course, the Macbeth color chart. And this thing is awesome. This one's actually from 1977, but as you can tell, it's still valid. In fact, the modern equivalent is the Colored Checker Passport from x -Rite. As you can see, it's basically the same thing, but a little bit smaller, more compact. It's great because it fits in your back pocket. And it does come with its own software, but I've got my own method for how to use this thing. So let's get started. People always ask me, why do I use this chart? And for that matter, how do I use it? Well, let's start with the why. If you come over to this photograph, I've got my beautiful model here, and I really don't have a good neutral white balance point to where to start color correcting from. I can take my eyedropper and try to find a place that I think should be neutral gray, and yeah, that's a little bit better. It's still not good enough. So I'm going to undo that. In more extreme circumstances, I've got something like this. I've got a green background, she's got a blue shirt, her skin tones are a little bit on the blue side, and I really don't have any place where to grab a white balance from. So let's dive right into how I use this chart to give me some really, really good colors to start from. First thing I gotta do is I gotta export this as a DNG file, so I'm gonna come over here and export it, there we go. And next thing I wanna do is once we create the profiles, we're gonna need to restart Lightroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit Lightroom. There we go. Now, the first program I'm going to show you is the X-Rite software, and it's really simple to use. All you do is take your DNG image and drag it right in there, and it's actually going to look for the color checker passport. This will work on the Macbeth color chart, but you'll have to find the Macbeth color chart by hand. And you can do that by using this grid. And as you can tell, it's actually found my passport automatically, and it's really just perfectly aligned. Okay, so all you really have to do at this point is say create profile. I'm going to call it sample x-rate and save that. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to show you my method for how I use this, uh, this color chart and that's using Adobe DNG's profile editor. So I come over here, open my file, there it is. And here we go. And what you do is you come over here to chart and by hand you just simply drag and drop these circles into the appropriate colors. So brown to brown, black to black, and white to white. Make sure all these circles are pretty well centered. And then you come over here and say create color table. You'll notice instantly my colors have improved like 100%. And the cool thing about this program, unlike uh, x is that it also gives me a white balance number. And this number is calculated using this, gray, this grayscale right here. So it used everything from my shadows to my highlights and all these midtones in between. And so we're gonna take a, we're gonna commit this number to memory, 650, and then my tint will be plus 16. First thing I gotta do, do though is create a profile. So I'm gonna go over here, call this sample. Adobe and save that. All right, there we go. Okay, now we're ready. So we're gonna get out of this program and we're gonna go back to our tutorial Lightroom catalog and we're back to where we started. Now remember, um, I want to use the white balance that the Adobe GNG gave me. So I'm gonna come over here and type it in 6050 and then my tint be plus 16 and there we go. We've got a really nice neutral white balance, but we're going to take it a step further and we're going to add a calibration. So we scroll all the way down to the bottom to camera calibration. Now by default, Adobe has this profile called Adobe Standard and it's basically a profile that's supposed to be set up for your camera under all situations. But if you're a pro, you know that that's not really how it works. <laughs> These modern cameras are really good, but they can be better when we do custom calibrations. And so we're gonna start with the X-Rite. And the first thing you'll notice is that not a whole lot happened. And here's why I like Adobe. So if we go over to Adobe, you'll notice that the color swatch is actually shifted. And um, 
again, this is why I like Adobe software better than the, the software that Extract came with. In my opinion, they're a little bit more accurate, and the skin tones are also much more pleasing. So all you have to do at this point is come over here to copy, and you copy the white balance and the calibration, come over to your image, paste that in, and already it's like a hundred times better just by doing that. I'm going to do the same thing with this image and paste that in. Again, it's just a hundred times better. And thanks to the calibration, we can actually come over here and see the difference between X-Rite, and you can see it on her shirt actually, and Adobe. Again, you can see it on the blues. And this is, again, you know, one of the reasons I like using Adobe because I just think it uh, has better colors than the X-Rite. So anyway, that is how I use the Macbeth color chart and um, X-Rite color checker passport. Thanks for watching.